What's going on Dolphins fans? It's Connor from the Dolphins Dive and I'm going to be breaking down the defeating Miami Dolphins loss. Very frustrating. I know how all of you fans feel as well. Uh, once again, Dolphins can't get over the hump of beating a good team. I know that's a huge narrative going on. I think it's a slightly silly narrative, but there's definitely some truth to it. Now, I the reason I say it's a silly narrative is the Dolphins beat themselves here very clearly. Um, they had many opportunities to be in this game, take the lead, win the game, uh, and they just fell flat, which is very un annoying and unfortunate considering like how close this game truly was. Um, so that's why I'm not like, the sky is falling because if one thing goes a different way, it's a different ball game kind of deal. But the fact that it's a recurring thing is the main concern. So I want to say this game was lost in the first half very clearly. Uh, we obviously got shut out offensively. Um, and the main reason for that, obviously, it's been a recurring issue, especially in away games, is the pre-snap penalties or the first downs that go for negative yardage that just crush drives. Uh, whether it be a holding, false start, waste of a timeout because you don't get the play calling kind of deal but it's recurring every single away game it, they struggle with the crowd noise they need to continue to get better at that it's improved from where it was in buffalo but it's still not up to standard it shouldn't be happening at all um and there's blame to go around obviously and some of the blame you don't necessarily know who to put it on uh for example the second to last play of the game where's Tua throwing the ball to like is it just a straight up awful throw I don't think it is I think there's a miscommunication but to what extent he had Cedric Wilson open deep he had Jeff Wilson flying across the middle like just slightly frustrating once again like it could be Tua's fault but it also could be Cedric Wilson's fault there's there's no way of knowing unless you're in the building um but I would say in the first half once again, I don't like to point fingers and place blame, but Tyree Kill has some critical mistakes. First with the drop pass, uh, which it was second and 10. So it would have been a new set of downs within field goal range. So at minimum, that's three points. But instead, it's a drop, third and 10, forced to punt. Uh, so that's at least three points lost there. And then obviously the fumble. So that at least, because we were in the red zone, it at least takes away three points. And then it gives them seven. So you're talking about at minimum a 13 point swing, potentially even more if those field goals are converted into the touchdown. So 13 point swing, we lost by seven right there. Like that, that's the game. So that's why I'm not concerned about we can't be fraud. Like we're frauds and we can't be good teams because, like, if Tyreek Hill doesn't fumble, period, like then it's a three, three point difference just off of that. Or not even, sorry, sorry, I'm stupid. That's a 10 point swing. So the, the Chiefs have one less touchdown and the Dolphins have three more points at minimum. So if that one play doesn't happen, the Dolphins win if everything else went to plan. Obviously game script changes and whatnot, but I'm, I'm just saying like, it's those minute plays. It's not like the Dolphins got steamrolled like they did in Buffalo. Like the Eagles game was closer than the Buffalo game. The Chiefs game was closer than the Eagles game. So they're improving, they're getting better. And that's what you wanna see. That's what Mike McDaniel emphasizes. It's just frustrating because you wanna see them be able to get over that hump that they haven't. Overall, I thought Tua had a good game. Obviously the last two plays were rough. Um, he had a missed throw to Tyreek too. That would have been a huge game. So that's a little uh, rough there, but um, yeah, it's tough to tell. People are trying to blame the snapping. Some people are blaming Tua. I think it's probably more on Tua, but it's a little blame, blame to go everywhere kind of deal. Like, why are we in fourth and 10 to begin with? Uh, like I said, that third down, what happened? That That's really the only bad place Tua had were the last two plays of the game and the missed throw to Tyreek. So overall, I would say Tua had a good game. Um, just frustrating way of ending it. Um, the O-line held up well in pass protection. There were some blitzes that came through. I don't know how much of that's on the offensive line versus just the blitz got to get the ball out kind of deal, or you just it happens. Uh, it's hard to not give up any sacks. Uh, running the ball was very inconsistent, but they sprung some big runs towards the end of the game when the Chiefs were expecting pass. So happy about that. Would have liked to see that like be able to execute early in the game, but it was good to see that it eventually did happen. So... 
it, it's hard to call it a win for the running game, um, but they did have some good plays, so it's a little, there's improvement definitely needed, but there were some good plays. As for the passing offense, it wasn't great. Um, Tyreek Hill held to eight catches, 62 yards, Waddle three for 42. So just based off of those numbers alone, like the passing attack was not great. Um, but what was really good, and I'm very pleased to see, Dolphins defense played out of their minds. They let up 14 total points against the defending NFC champs. They held uh, Travis Kelsey to three catches for 14 yards. They played their asses off, um, kept the Dolphins in this football game. So major props to the defense and Vic Fangio finally getting their pieces back together. And this is something that I've been harping over. They have gotten better from week one onwards they just continue to improve the d line started to look better they started to get healthy in the secondary and now they're starting to put it all together down the stretch which is amazing that's what you want to see from the defense the offense needs to return to form how they were early in the season now once again like i don't know why it's such a hard concept for to grasp like yes teams are going to be execute better against bad teams it's just easier um it's harder to execute against the second best passing defense in all of football so they're Hiccups are supposed to happen. They get paid money. They're good. Uh, we just like to see a couple more of these plays executed. Like I said, if Tyreek Hill makes that catch or if he just doesn't fumble, this is a different football game. But it wasn't. Dolphins lose. Heading into a bye week, hopefully players can just reset, recover, and hopefully, um, I don't want to say like an overly schematic overhaul, but sometimes you see teams come out of a bye and they just make one one to two small tweaks and it just it helps them run for the rest of the season. So, Hopefully we come out of the bye stronger than ever, but I appreciate you guys for watching. Comment your thoughts down below, and until next time, I'll catch y'all.